What's going on guys, this is Joshua Drake from Future Film Act 3940 here once again and I'm here to give you guys my thoughts on Cry Macho, which is the newest film of Clint Eastwood's 50 year of filmography and uh, this is of course directed by Clint Eastwood, it stars Clint Eastwood, Dwight Yoakam, based on the book of the same name and in this movie we follow a one-time rodeo star and washed-up horse breeder in 1978 as he takes a job from an ex-boss to bring the man's young son home and away from his alcoholic mom. Close, crossing rural, rural Mexico on the way back to Texas, the unlikely pair faces an unexpected challenging journey during which the world-weary horseman may find his own sense of redemption through teaching the boy what it means to be a good man. I was actually very interested to see how it was. I am a fan of Clint Eastwood and his movies. Clint Eastwood, he's been around for a very long time. I mean, he's, he's in his 90s. He's 91 years old. He's have a lot of great movies to his name. The, the Man with the No Name trilogy I think is amazing. Um, even his directing films, like... I love the, the Man With No Name movies, Dirty Harry is great, I love all his other films too, Million Dollar Baby, Unforgiven, Grand Torino, and Flags of Our Fathers, and Letters from Iwo Jima. He is a very, very ama amazing director, and he is a, one of the best legendary actors and filmmakers who's ever lived. So. I was very interested to see what he was going to do with Cry Macho. It looked like a very nice and simple film about a, a retired man who has to go, has to go bring this boy home. And I was very interested. It's a neo-western drama and I gotta tell you, I was actually very, I enjoyed the movie for what it was. This movie is not his best film, but I think it is a very good movie in its own right. It is very well done. Clint Eastwood, even in his age, he is still able to direct a film. The way he shoots a movie is very competent. Ben Davis's cinematography is very well done. I do love the way he shoots this movie. And it is a very well shot movie for the most part. Every it's a $33 million budget, so it's a very small budget. You can see what's going on. And this has been in development for so long, this movie. And while they were filmed, they filmed this movie during the pandemic, so it is a very well done film for what is doing it. I love the scenery of the movie. The scenery is very well done. I love the score and the tone of the movie which is a western drama and some people they want more of an action hit em up type of film but I enjoy a more quieter type of film it is only an hour and four, 44 minutes so it gets you in and out and the score by Mark Messina I thought is very well done it's a very emotional very good score and you can tell at his old age he is still acting his butt off. He does a really great job. Dwight Yoakam as the father of the child they has to bring home. I thought he was really good in the movie. Edward R. Minette as Raphael Polk. He does a really good job. You also have Fernando Urojola as Alita. It's a very small cast for the most part, but it chose it chooses to focus on both those movies. Both Clint Eastwood and the Sun. That's what I really like here. And the movie is very well done. It has a very is very good. I do love the way this movie is shot, the way this movie is written. Granted, I will say for most people this is uh, this will be a little bit of a slower film. And some Clint Eastwood fans they won't enjoy this. But for me being a fan of Eastwood, I enjoy a smaller made film. It doesn't have to have a big action set piece or just people shooting at each other at the time. I was just sitting there enjoying what the bond between this young man and his man and the rodeo star. I very much enjoyed that. I thought it was a very sweet, very heartfelt. 
is not it does have your usual cliches at this point with you know he's gonna get home to his father the mother of course being an alcoholic and it does take a little while to get going but for the most part I thought Cry Macho is a very great Clint Eastwood movie for the most part it's not his greatest film but I think he, Clint Eastwood if this is his last directed film and his last acted movie, this looks like a very, this is a very good way to go out. If this is his swan song before he decides to retire, this is what a better way to go out. This is a very, really good heartfelt movie. I do think some people will not like this. I do think some people will want more of a traditional neo western drama with action and stuff. But it has a very good heartfelt theme to it and I very much enjoyed what this movie was going for. So at the end of the day, I'm giving Cry Macho an, ep an epitastic. So in the comment section down below, what did you guys think of this? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Or are you somewhere right in the middle? Comment down below, let me know. All my social media links in the description box down below and I'll see you guys next week.